gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Verse number 21. Uh huh. Therefore, yes, right. Put your hands together. We are doing very, very well. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Amen. Now you can put back my, 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 my face. Because now I want to give you a few points I want you to write. Please write these things down and then I'll expound on them as we move along. I, I, will, I will enjoy myself. Don't worry. I have to do an introduction. Kama tu mwalimuenu wa biology. Kablanze kuongea mambo ya reproductive health from three. Anazango najua reproduction is a, is a human behavior. Yeah. Right, so I've got to go through this, then it will get nice. Number one, write this one down. Write this one down. The church is a great house. The church is a great house. Is a great, great house. That is point number one. The church is a great house. See, in here, we are mixed up because it's a great house. It's a great house. Number two, there are different kinds of vessels in every house. There are different kinds of vessels in every house. Different kinds of vessels in every house. Let me make it practical. Look at me, everybody. Skilam se apa ivi kuna home, enyo neishi anga jioni. Sino? E ama tu kimalza conference, unachukua bagzako, uneishi akuini. Sasa kuyoke jenu ya home, kuna viombo tofauti. Na umejuanga tangu kwe mdogo. Kuna vyombo, your mother alikuwa na kuona unakaribia, unambiwa, we. We, we, we. His one is awage? Oh yes, tell your neighbor your home is like ours. Oh yeah. Na kulikuwa na zile zingine zenye, ata ukivunja, there was still peace. Anasikia kitu imevunjika, ni gani imevunjika? Ni hile ya brown? Oh, okay. But kuna ingine ikivunjika. Ya white, yes, ya white, sema ya white. Ikivunjika, ulikuwa unajua tu vile mamu tu anaza kuchachi. Anashika tu mkono hapa. Bas. Anakuita maratatu. Alafu anakuita ni mkuita marangapi? And at that time you know what? There is going to be war. Somebody say a great house. Has many vessels. Do you know why? Because, let's go back to verse number 20. Put up verse number 20. This is the reason why. Verse number 20. The Bible says that there are vessels of gold and silver and then we also have vessels of wood and clay. So kuna viombo zingine kwenu ainanga stress. Ama for example kama umenda harusi. Kuna harusi yenye unaenda by the way ile plate unapatia unajua no this is a very serious wedding. Ini plate moja ya kishua. Kiko na wait if you unajua kichina wea. Kamzito. Lakini kuna harusi zingine unambi watu mkimaliza kukula zaani zote za karatasi munaeka pale. Musijafue huku ni kwa wenyewe. You know those ones? Paper plates. Usipueka supu vizuri na ujui kubalance kama wase wa high school. Wajua isi high school yetu by the watcher ni wambia true story. High school yetu tulikuwa na mfue kinyesha matope ina slide nini nyasi vitu kama iyo. Lakini siku ya supu na nyama. Na kuambia mwanadamu anateleza lakini sahani haiwezi anguka. So say together with me, they are vessels of gold, silver, wood, and clay. Write this one down. Number three, what makes the difference in vessels is their intrinsic value. What makes the difference in vessels is their intrinsic value. It's good you came to this conference because you can read the third term, you can use the word intrinsic in your composition. You shall receive one mark in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. What makes the difference in vessels is their intrinsic value. It is their intrinsic value. And from the word intrinsic, you know it is internal. Internal. That's what it means. The intrinsic value. Number four, write this one down. The intrinsic value, the intrinsic value is a result of the material they are made of. The intrinsic value is a result. You need me to come again? Sorry, I'm too fast. Spelling, oh, spelling is intrinsic. Aki uneza copy neighbor, imagine, ni charge. Just copy, unayishikanisho kitu. Woyshe, muko down. 
Ebu tell your neighbor, neighbor, usiniangushe. All right, intrinsic. I'll give it to you. By the clap for this lady. She's so courageous, Yani. Clap for her. I say clap for her. Oh. Yes. Unetuaje oishe? Jasmine. Is the name your parents gave you? Hey, hey what a name. Wajo hey, wengine wenu hapa ile jina ulipatiwa hata hata wabiangi watu full. Unasema mimi naitwa tu Abi. Kumbe full ni absconditor. You know? <laughs> Intrinsic. I N I N T R I I N T R I N S I C. Yes. Intrinsic. That's what I said. Oh, kumbe ni watu wengi wamefloat. Aish, kila mtu inua mkono juu. Eka mkono yako juu. Sema in the name of Jesus. I refuse to remain low in English. Sema amen. Na kuna watu hapa baada ya conference wachanga kusikia nini peke yake mrucha. Yonjo viti na kuaribia English una nini una float una float sana una, by the way niko na ma story tell your neighbor who pass here kuna ma story Nobody story moja tukiwa high school form 1 I remember very clearly form 1 west that was the class I was in na tulikuwa watu wengi sana na shule tuko tumechanganyika jack tulikuwa na wasema wametoka tao wasema wametoka ocha na wasingine wametoka nyume ya ocha we were quite a mix so our business education teacher never forget him he was very particular alikuwa anatoa mr nyabuto sema nyabuto yes alikuwa anatuambia i don't want your parents coming here looking at your notebooks and they see very wrong spelling if you don't know the spelling you lift your hand sema ya tumeingisha njeve mamono na si kutoka mamono kwa tunafa shots hallelujah kwa tunadunga shots form 1 na tunakalia kiti ya mabati but there is a god in heaven i tell you he has lifted us tokalia cushion glory be to god amen thank you jesus now in one of the lessons alikuwa anafundisha kasema butter trade means into brackets kona mkono mmoja yes akasema what is the spelling of bracket it was the greatest shock spelling of bracket Imagine for eight years your primary school mtu hajaijua bracket tell your neighbor i refuse to remain low in my education wase wote nyoko hapa na ulikuwa lachu mungu akusaidie uache kuwa lachu sema amen na inakwanga mbaya kama ni si official na chapa namba 38 out of 39 na namba 39 na kufanya exam na wewe ni si official Anyway, watch out when they Okay, where was I? Number four, right? Tell me what is number one. Look at your notes. Number one, the church is what? Aha. Uh-huh. Number two, there are different kinds of vessels in every house. Number three is what? What makes the difference in vessels is their intrinsic value. Number four, the intrinsic value is a result of the material they are made of. The intrinsic value. Yaani hiyo dhamana ya ndani ya kikombe ya sahani ya sosa it is dependent on the material it was made from that is why sahani ya karatasi yo utupwanga wewe ukutana na mtu hapo baada ya rusu unasikia unauliza ah please tunauliza wale wadada wote wakuje pamoja na brido team mtusaidie kuosha sahani na ni sahani za karatasi no once you've used them they're thrown away why it's because the intrinsic value is low it's very low lakini kuna sahani zingine even your mother haizi kubali mbocha osha amelemwa tu na mausingizi lakini anainuka tu anaenda jikoni anasiosha mwenyewe because of the value somebody say value sema tena value kuna wasingine hapa hivi kuna vitu fulani your mama ameziweka hata mbuyu na anakuambia hii nilipewa kwa siku ya harusi ya harusi yangu yeah So it's very special to them. Wewe unaiangalia ngo unachinua. Na nani anawekanga clock kwa kitu kubwa kama hii imetengenezwa na mbao? Lakini to them because of the value is important to them. Let's move on. Number five, write this one down. Write this one down. It's going to get good. Number five, some materials. Some materials are rare and deep beneath. Some materials are rare and deep beneath. Comma Some materials are rare and deep beneath. Please muzime hizo success cards. Kuna sikia kuna success card inalia hapo. Mtu azime hiyo ni nini success card. Mm. 
Some materials are rare and deep beneath coma. Others require years to be ready. Others require years. Miaka. To be ready. To be ready. And others are commonly available. Some materials are rare and deep beneath coma. Others require years to be ready. And others are commonly available. Commonly available. Commonly available. Kuna motel ukienda vikombe zote zinakuanga same. Siko shai notice. Kuna motel tu kiingia. Unjua zile motel kama the new Jasho kiosk hizo. That, that's what I'm talking about. Ukiingia huko the cups are always the same. Zote zinafanana. Na ukitoka hapo uende another level, you know? You come from like heaven to earth. Ukienda another level. Kama ufike pale kule wanajenga. Kikombe ya mjengo you need to have experience kukunywa hiyo chai ama uchi kwa sababu inakuwa ni kikombe ya mabati ama kwa wale ambao maybe you've joined your dad or your big brother mkienda garage alafu unakuja pale na na mama anauza chai anakuwa na vikombe ya chuma ya mabati ukiekewa hivi hapo uchi na unajua uchi inakuwa ni deceptive sema deceptive sema tricky sana uchi ikwambia ni moto inanyamaza tu hey Ukishika hiyo kitu unapiga hivi one touch. Ndakwambia vile Yesu aliambia Nicodemus, "Verily verily I say unto you." Itakuwa ni ngori. Number six, write this one down. The intrinsic value. The intrinsic value is a result of the formation process. The intrinsic value is a result of the formation process. Ile kitu inafanya China wea, ni tofauti na mabati na paper plate is the formation process because paper plate hata wewe unaweza tengeneza unachukua tu kalenda zamani tu unararua unakunja hivi unaweka ngumi moja tap nasema niweke hapa supo please tusisoyane because you can make it yourself but the china wea plate takes a lot of time it's even more serious if you're talking about a gold plate gold plate That one when you go to visit, you know, kings, royalty, they serve you on a gold plate. And that is why you need to come for meetings like this so that we can stretch your capacity. Ndio siku ile unajipata umekutana na royalty. Wazi kutoa kamera unapiga sahani picha. Unajua kuna tabia zingine zinaweza kukuchomea picha sana. Have you ever seen those people? Mtu anapiga avocado picha na sahani. Have you seen those things? Ah. Let's move on. Number seven. An individual's decision, an individual's decision unlocks the potential to increase their value. An individual's decision unlocks the potential to increase their value. An individual's decision unlocks the potential to increase their value. An individual's decision, if you like decisions, Lona I feel, unlocks the potential to increase their value. Now let's go back to the scripture and then we walk through a few things here. All right, let's read it together everybody on the screen. Three go. But in a great house Yes. Right. All right, verse number 21. Therefore If anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel of honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Now let's build this together. What is number one? Look at your notes and let's say it together. Number one, the church is a great house. Read number one again. Look at your neighbor tell them where we are right now. We are in a great house. And I want you to know you are a vessel. Right. Number two, let's read it together. There are different kinds of vessels in every house. Yeah, just like your own home. Even in the church, we have different kinds of vessels. Very different. Some of gold, some of silver, others of wood, and others of clay. Like here where we are seated right now. 
Let's do some simple mathematics. These are four kinds of vessels. And let's say four equals 100%. So it means in every church, we have 25% vessels of gold, 25% vessels of silver, 25% vessels of wood, and 25% vessels of clay. Somebody say, wow. Now ask your neighbor, neighbor. Where were any gold? I'm a silver. I'm a wood. I'm a matope. Let's read number three together. What makes the difference in vessels is their intrinsic value. So this means who you are on the inside is what determines what kind of a vessel you become. When in any on the inside. Kuna wase wana kujanga church. Lakini on the inside of them. By the way, nezatu na kapo, please. Kavizu, nezatu na mbae. Ata wewe. Hiyo njaro mechukua si, hey, unezalala. And you're talking about vessels. Tell your neighbor, I choose to be a gold vessel. Sijui ka ushai discover gold vessels zine kwanga pali kwa nyumba kule zinaonekana. Am I right? Ningumu sana unapata mamea kwa meka kikombe ya mabati. Apo juu ya wall unit. Apana, kikombe ya mabati inaka uko nyuma kule paka inakula. True story. Sinu kweli? Zile vyombo unapata hapo kwa sitting room ni yani ni zile sahani ziko poa hapo zimechorwa teddy bear ingine kuna Winnie the Pooh you know very nice ones Lakini ya mabati inakaanga huko nyuma kwa garage because ingine inachota mafuta tai inachota maji na yani tu inakuanga ina kuchota chota So the intrinsic value is what makes a vessel to become important and that's what I want to challenge us here today. If you're going to become a vessel, we need to concentrate on the inside more than the outside. I wish you said amen. amen. Who are you on the inside? On the inside. Yani like your heart posture. The way you look at things. The way you respect authority. Yo imeni yako inatafuta vitamin C. Wacha niseme vizuri. Naomba shule yenu isiyaichomwa kwa sababu you are there. You are a vessel of gold. In that school. Yeah. Shule za watu wa wood and clay zinachomwa. Tuna chomwa. Me strike nini? Atutaki kidheri. Atutaki kidheri. Really? Tell your neighbor neighbor, it is time to concentrate on the intrinsic value. You know what that means? It means you must begin to develop things like initiative. Initiative. Yani you are a self-starter. Nowadays, because of technology, how many people like cars? Unapena magari, mandai. Asante. Aina shida kama upendi ni sawa, wepe enda tu nduthi, sisi tutapena magari. Right? How many people like cars? Can I see? Yes. Say together with me in Jesus' name. In my life, I will drive a good car. Drive a good Sema amen. amen. Kuna magari ziko na initiative, Pastor Brian. You press a button and it starts. Button. When you're inside the car. Now there are other cars, you're not even inside there, you're in the house. Lakini unaisha tu mkono kwa mfuko. Unafinya hivi remote. Gari yenyewe tu. Yaani inamka na swag. Lakini kuna zingine unajua. Wanapark kwa mlima jioni. Iko hapo. Hizo magari hazina initiative. Sema initiative. Kwa sababu, yyo gari, ata ikisukumu aje haiwezi waka. Kwa sababu, shida yake ni mbili. Ina shida ya engine na shida ya starter. So lazima starter iwekwe pali flani specific. Njo muskume istuke. Otherwise, muneza skuma. Muna toa jajo na gari iwaki. Shtua, shtua, aishtuki. It doesn't have initiative. And there are many young people go through life without initiative. Kuna wase wameka hapa hivi na we kila subuhi lazima ukiamka tu subuhi unaulizwa umetanika kitanda. Oh, hey. Una sleep work unarudi kwa kitanda ukutandika. Me I pray for you may you have initiative so that your intrinsic value can increase. Yeah. Sema amen. amen. Sema initiative. initiative. Kuna watu wengine hapa announcement kwa shule zenu lazima ziishe. Za ku encourage watu kuoga. Na uko kwa hiyo group. Scared master mesimama na anza, uh, you know, boys, cleanliness, they say, is next to godliness. 
Kuna watu hapa hivi after this conference hizo announcements zitakuwa zinakufaa because utakuwa mtu wa kuoga. Tuseme amen. Yeah. Tell your neighbor I refuse to be an anti shower. Ya yeah, kuna watu wanaona maji baridi anaanza. Ai ya ya ya. Oi, oi, oi. Hakuna, you are entering another level. You shall have initiative. Sema amen. amen. You be self driven. Self driven. Ma time ya ku revise una revise. Because you have intrinsic value. You you don't need a monitor killer sir. Hata kwa vitu za God, utokange yule dave kukujanga chacha una Bible hauna notebook. Umekuja tu ni kama umetokea bash. Ni kama tu. Huko tu. Tell your neighbor increase your level. Eh, okay, mwingine mwambie increase your level. Some of you are not talking to your neighbors because I don't know if your neighbor brushed their teeth today, but I still encourage you tell your neighbor increase your level. Somebody put your hands together for intrinsic value in our lives. Yes. Now let's read number 4 together. What is number 4 everybody? The intrinsic value is a result of the material. Yes, the material they are made of. What kind of material? You see for example, we come conference come here, awesome speakers, awesome word, great presence of God, wonderful experience. Uki talk up IV, we have given you material to make you a vessel of honor. Sasa wewe ziko na ka boyfriend kingine hapo ifo. Kamoronyo Boys High School. Kijana ajielewi. Hana mbele wala nyuma, hana focus. Na umemkuamilia, umemshikilia kama safety belt. Unasema mimi by the way unichalia mind for life. Siwezi muacha and the devil is a liar. We are giving you material that will make you a vessel of honor. Sema amen. Kwa sababu kuna wasi hapa hivi si ndio minyozi imetulemea. Wewe umekuwa na mama 48 and you're only 12 years old. Four times the age of your life. May God deliver you. Sema amen. Somebody say I am getting material that is making me a vessel of honor. Can I hear the girl say oh yeah? Sema tena oh yeah. We are giving you material that will save you from becoming pregnant before you are married. Your amen is looking for malaria queen. I will say it again. We are giving you material that will make you live a clean life. Yes. Because the value is from the material they are made of. You are not of that material. Unafinywa finywa na kachari kana kushika shika yani. Wewe pana unga ya chapati ama mandazi. No. You are a vessel of honor. I say you are a vessel of honor. This side is anointed. I say you are a vessel of honor. Hallelujah. That area looks like PCA. Let me try to come and preach and see if these ones will come to deliverance church. I say you are a vessel of honor. You people stretch your hands here. Nyosheni mkono huku. Sema we send the fire. You are a vessel of honor. Yes. Because of the material. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. How is it okay say conference kama hii? Na ukose vision ya life. Lazima ukue na vision. Hata nyoo sewa ngoma lazima ukue na vision. Hata hizo unaweza jipata umechanganyikiwa hivi. Asubuhi unacheza church. Jioni uko kwa club tu unazifruta tu uko bado tu unazicheza. No 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 you cannot be confused. You are getting good material. Can you say amen? Somebody say the material I'm receiving is making me a vessel of honor. Now, let's read point number five together. Everybody look at your notes. Let's read. Some materials are rare and deep. In Pause there. Repeat. Some materials are rare and deep. Pause. Chiki, chiki, chiki. Take it from the top. Let's go again. Some materials are rare and deep. Yeah, they are rare. They are very rare. I'm telling you the truth. Very rare. Rare. Yani uzipati kwa raka. You know, if gold was a very common commodity, Kila mtu angekuwa nayo. Lakini it is not common and that's why the value is high. Can you say amen? amen. Wengine wenu mmekuwa common sana. Wewe umekuwa ile vessel number 4, clay. Matope tu unajimba hivi tu unaokota tu unazindilia zindilia hivi umetengeneza sahani. Zindilia zindilia kikombe. You cannot be common. Amen. I say you cannot be common. Amen. All the ladies here common boys will never be your boyfriends in Jesus name. 
all the guys who are here, common girls will not confuse you. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I must be deep. Yes. And listen to this. Deep people go to deep places. There are places where right now is full of young people. But those are common, ordinary vessels. And at what is it our inje ya Kenya cinema? Come on, come. Yani you, you get them all the time. What to do on a juanga? Ukitaka mseflani ya na kuanga tuwa poivua na kula njugu. We mse ya kuangi na mabomo ba na penanga nju. For you, you shall be deep and rare. I say you shall be deep and rare. Auta patika nanga patika nanga tu kwa tu tu ma story story tu awatu. We mse mama tu kando ya barabara una kula nyasi kama mbuzi nzema. KCJ metoke ya. Mimi mbona KCT? Nimeona mbona KCV na kam. Kuna kuna ndai. No no no. Those are common things. You shall be deep. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say amen. 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 Tell your neighbor their common behaviors. Their common behavior. I am leaving them. Say amen. amen. Say my common. Say my common. common. Say my common. common. No, no, you see common behaviors when I was strong at high school. Kama sisi ko high school yetu, watu break time kila mtu alikuwa anakata mkono hivi. Ku pinch quarter ya mkate. Ku pinch, msani zaidi ya pinch. Na hiyo pinch eh, mkono iko na adaptation. Unajua biology iko na adaptation. Sema adaptation. Sema common behavior. Mtu mmoja akaanzisha pastor let me ask you byro. Alianzisha this card yeah, the byro itself. Alianzisha kufanya hivi wakati wa lesson. Common behavior. Sema common. Sema tena common. Do you know to do this is not easy. It actually takes practice. Unadhani ni rahisi wewe jaribu uone. Unarusha inaanguka. And in time the entire school Mwalimu wako huko tu ana lecture Aminata tu huko tu ta 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 common behaviors others were even worse how we go to the toilet sema common behavior and i know there's some people here especially boys these schools of ours very strange sisi shule yetu ulikuwa unafika kwa choo unafungua kwanza tai na bato unatoa shati na vest na sweater na tai unahang nje Jonah ingia into the inner chambers to sit on the mercy seat to find grace and help and mercy to help you in the time of need. Very bad behaviors. Can you imagine right now somebody is employed kwa ofisi anatoka anaenda sasa haja kubwa. Anafika kwa sababu of common behaviors. I declare common behaviors in your schools that have no direction they have no meaning but they are discoloring your life they will never catch up with you in the name of Jesus sema amen jiguse na useme i refuse to be a common vessel ndio kuna tabia za kawaida hata ukiuliza hata bishop atakwambia tu nakwambia mchungaji hata nikihubiri kiasi gani kuna washirika wazi kuja na bible hawawezi wananiambia pastor ni mzito acha nikuje tu hivyo mimi ile bible niko nayo nimeweka kwa moyo no kimuliza what does the book of Judas say and akwambia eh Judas the bible says in the book of Judas there is no book of Judas it's a common behavior you must become and common must become and common wewe kanga tu mse shallo kila saa unajua kwa tu ma movie peke yake ma series peke yake umecheki suits suits kesho naanza nikita naanza nikita na wewe sema kesho ninaanza kusoma ama kesho naenda kusikia message you must become and common Umekataa kusema amen? Amen. Tell your neighbor you must become uncommon. Yes. Do the things that other young people don't do. Like reading your Bible, praying, coming to meetings like this, they make you uncommon. Lakini like common behavior. Ai, kuna madem tunajua sasa hii. Wase wanduthi wanawakati hapo hivyo. Ako hapo acha tu. Acha tu. Ako hapo tu sasa hii ukitoka hapa I tell you you'll find them there. Anaangishwa basha na mse wanduthi common behaviors number 5 let's read together some materials are what rare and deep beneath uh huh next line others require years to be ready sema years yeah kwa sababu kuna watu hapo hivi umesumbua na home sana and you don't know kuna vitu kipimiwa hewa is because you're not ready wewe unakaa tu home tu unatafutanga tu ai nasi kutokea tu shida waniambie ni drive ni vitu niendeshe man Ask you me wash you unataka kuendesha gari but your dad is saying no not because you can't do it but because the season is not right you need a few years you need a few years 
Unajua kuna kwa theory zingine kama mimi nilikuwa nayo when I was growing up I used to think gari ukiengage gear 5 Pastor Mashigabi gear 5 Hey yo gari itakimbia And that was not true because the day I finished my driving school I tried my theory Then I discovered gari iwezi toka na gear 5 either to be gear 1 or gear 2 And you see some of us we go through life with so many strange theories Tu vitu tu tumejiambianga kwa kichwa na ni uongo tumejipanga tumejienjoy Why? Because there are things that take years to be prepared. Somebody say years. Sema tena years. Unajua kuna wasi hapa hivi unashinwanga kwa nini wanatukazianga hii mambo ya kunini? Ukuta mtu. Ndio kikao baba mimi nitakuta mtu. Tunakwambia usikutane na watu because we know you are not ready for that now. And even if you don't say amen it is still a point. Wewe sikuwa msesa hizi unaanza kufungua tu masafa. Ita tuna dem tu. Una manga. Unaenda huko una manga mwingine. Unaenda huko una manga mwingine. Unafungua ngatu servers tu. Unazifungua tu, unazifungua tu. Never. That is very common behavior. You must be uncommon. And all the sisters who are here, you will close your server. I say you shall close your server. If there is a girl next to you, mwambie funga server. Become uncommon. Become un- How many vessels of gold and silver do we have here? Vessels of gold and silver. How many vessels of wood and clay? Wood and clay. Ah. Somebody say I'm happy I came to this conference. Uh-huh. And others are commonly available. You've got to make up your mind if you'll be a vessel of honor. Wachana na tabia common common. Let me tell you something that has helped me in my own life. Really, in my own life. As a young man, or maybe I can say as your older brother. I made up my mind to follow the things of God. Personally, nilifanya class 8 KCPE and I didn't get the marks that look like somebody like me. Na nilijua I knew my potential was higher than that. Lakini kwa sababu ya kale ka puberty ka class 7 na 8. Unajua uko ka puberty? Ki confusion tu fulani kinakujanga tu. Yaani kuna kashetani tu hapo. Kana kalianga kwa desk kana kungojea class 7. <laughs> Unakalia desk na sema ha tuko pamoja. Unaanza tu kuingia tu hapo tu uchinga tu unajibu walimu vile unataka unasumbua unaanza kutesa girls in class unarushia njugu kwa dress inapita hivi. Mmsikana anataabika. Those are the things I was doing. Class 7. A class 8. Yes. Office at master was a common place. Kwa tunaingia hapo na tunaulizana tuko wengi eh tuko wengi uchungu kidogo tuingie basi. Lala chini pa 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 pa. Na head master wetu he was one man he would never forgive. Bora umeingia kwa ofisi ah lazima kuonje. Hey lazima. And in our days viboko zilikuwa common. Nyinyi siku hizi mnachunwa na na nini tissue paper ama mnachunwa na sponge. That is bad. Don't do it. For us it was nothing like that. You'll be like hey young man you are becoming bad. Lie down. Unaona head master anatoa court. Unajua ki today hmm, if you are there is a god in heaven please please this man should not kill me. But when I did my class 8 I got 488 not out of 500 though out of 700 <laughs> And I knew I knew my father my father had already told me young man if you don't do well I don't want you to go through life not dealing with the stages correctly Sasa kama utaanguka mtihani unajua unarudi class 7 ukutane na watu wa class 6 ndio ukuje vizuri you know class 7 is also an academic year yeah it's, it's also an academic year because you're choosing index number niko hapa mambo imekuwa ngumu so i went to pick my results and unfortunately index 1 of our school was our church member also and she didn't live too far from us and we met together to pick results ye yeah, alipita mtihani mbio sema mbio oh my god hey. alichota 599 out of 700 powerful lady she's an engineer today yeah sasa mimi nimechukua zangu niko na 488 yako na 599 amejeta na 111 marks ni kama sikufanya mtihani mbili na mimi ni boy na yeye ni manzi alafu ananiambia dan twende home twende home ai 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 manzi na natembea je na wasema 599 na mimi niko na 488 I was feeling like a vessel of clay. That was a vessel of gold. 
So tunatembea tu tukienda home miss na story ya naongea tu anasema hmm but there's a juice sasa nitaenda kama ni kabara kama nitaenda mimi niko hapo sijui kule ninaenda Mungu niurumie <laughs> naweza ingia ile shule inaitwa Majengo Progressive High School So I got home I met with my mother in the kitchen Nimbe oh umekuja umepata ngapi <laughs> Kaweka sleep up check for yourself. Mimi nikaenda. She called me. Kaniambia kuja. No, umejikaza you done well usijali. I'm proud of you blah blah blah. You know the way mothers are good. Akaniambia chukua pelekea baba yako. He's in the bedroom. Nikaingia kwa bedroom. Tak tak tak. Open. What is number 5? Read number 5. Number 5 read number 5. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So I knocked on the door. I entered. He was there. Can I be aha? Umepata matokeo? Kampatia. And as a wise son, you move back. Just in case anything can happen. At least you live a healthy distance. So akaangalia kaona mm. Apparently he was very impressed with one thing, just one thing. Mathematics. I had got 72%. Na normally nilikuwa ninapata zile marks that you know Jesus promised where, where two or three are gathered to together in my name two or three you know like 23%, 32%. Hapo nilikuwa nachezea. So this time nilikuwa na 72. Akaniambia wow. Sikuwa nimeona unaweza pita hesabu hivi nikasema. Akaniambia sasa hizi marks zako acha tutafute shule. Nakaniambia you better pray you get a good school because he kama hajagonga 500 eh hii sijui tutapata shule gani acha tuone acha tuone but I was feeling so low so I went into my room I closed the door and I knelt down and I prayed a prayer I told God from this point onwards I want you to walk with me I don't want to be a rude boy I don't want to be a bad boy I want you to walk with me somebody say vessel of honor it was a personal decision niliamua mwenyewe I want to be a good boy. Hizo story mimi staki. Mambo ya kutupia wasichana njugu hapa kwa dress. Hiyo vitu naachana nayo. And truly from my heart I meant it. And I prayed and I told God, "Brother, please God, just whatever you do, don't make my father tell me to repeat." Cuz iko na imagine manze. Wasi nyoko class 6, tunakuwa nao class 7. Tunakuwa na niangalia wana niambia, "Me repeat." That pressure, I could not handle it. God heard my prayer. He gave me a school. And I remember when I went to that school, we were given a Bible as we left our primary school every one of us tulipewa biblia when i got to form 1 i didn't want anything i just wanted god and my education i read my bible like a mad prophet sema mad eh i read my bible i read thoroughly because i wanted to know god for me i wanted to walk with god i meant business i meant business in fact i successfully finished form 1 without a girlfriend say amen No no sikuwa nataka mchezo ah, kila mtu apumue hewa yake kila mtu aishi maisha yake Upendo ya mama yangu imetosha please staki ingine Yeah And I remember working very hard in my form 1 form 1 first term number 7 out of 45 very serious staki mchezo Na hiyo shule tumeenda ni shule ya kuhurumiwa lakini bado nimejikaza hapo ndani And I walked with God I became a CEO official When we got to form 3 We conducted a fans drive in our school to buy instruments for our CU and we bought as the CU treasure I gave the most 4000 cuz tukienda from two holiday kila mtu alienda na card mimi nikaenda nikachangisha narudi na 4k every other person ameleta yake so we raised about 100000 the whole school we bought instruments from Nairobi we came together all the top givers hallelujah yeah the uncommon givers Wasenyoleta mafinje na nini walibaki shule sisi uncommon tukaingia kwa nisani ya shule tukakuja Nairobi kununua viombo we went back i see you was booming powerfully powerfully until i remember the headmaster called me and a couple of other CEO officials to appreciate us kutambia what you guys do on friday night is amazing because the young boys don't sneak anymore they stopped because una sneak unaenda wapi see you imeiva kuiva siku hizo ndio makoma ilikuwa imetokea Tunapiga praise and worship yetu tunahubiri wenyewe tunamaliza alafu sasa tunaweka makoma na pensi yone na siku hizo slide ilikuwa imekaa tunaanza kuzikwenda 
the entire school. See you in Mebamba. Why? Because there were some boys that decided to become uncommon. I pray for you today. You shall be uncommon in your school. Amen. I say you shall be uncommon in your school. Amen. And maybe one day I should carry it with me and come and show you my school living certificate. The words that they wrote over my life. Eish. Walijaza wakataipu mbaka uko chini kule laini meisha. Wow. They wrote very wonderful words. And today, many years, over 10 years ago, I look at that and I'm so happy. Why? Because when you choose to become uncommon, people will recognize you. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Leave those common behaviors. Kila mutu wakona music book kwa class hata weo kona yako. Mystique. B square. Lyrics. You are coming out of that in Jesus name. I say you shall be uncommon. Give your neighbor high five. Tell them you shall be uncommon. Tell them it will take you some time. But you will get there. Can I hear you say amen? amen. What is number six? The intrinsic value is a result of the formation process. Let me talk about that a little bit. Say my formation. Say my formation. formation. Now listen to me friends. Tell your neighbor sit upright. Hey, tell your neighbor sit upright. Let me tell you this. Life will form you. Life it will form. It will form. Let me give you a personal example in my life. And I pray it does not happen to you. When I got to form 2, ile setani ya class 7 inakuanga pia form 2. Inakungoje yango open day kwa gate. Ukiingia mnaingia pamoja nayo. Ukikaa kwa desk inakaa na wewe. Aha. Those were the days Kenya used to have districts, provinces, then national. So, mysteriously, district drama festival was in our school. Provincial was in our school. National was in our school. Hey! Hey, hey! Kila siku ni kama tuko shule na tena ni kama tuko holiday. Mwalimu anataka kuenda kuona hata ya drama. Na field yetu ilikuwe meka kama crusade. Ole tipis girls, naivasha girls, moi girls, moi girls is senior, moi girls what? Yeah, zime kuja. Hey. So mwalimu wana kuja kwa desa, nwambi, uh, boys, you shall read page 45 to page number 72 and you will write short notes, okay? Prefect, make sure there is no disturbance, be able to concentrate. Anatoka, anenda anengia kwa hall. Anengia kwa hall, prefect mwenye anataka kuenda kukatia.com. Kukatia. Na unajua tukikatia siku hizo, tulikuwa tume advance sana. Tunanunua lollipop ya kobole. And by the way, it was a huge sacrifice because quarter loaf pia nao ilikuwa ni five bob. So, kununulia dem lollipop ya five bob is a sacrifice. Be Why am I telling you this? Because this is the truth. You've got to make some decisions and agree to a formation process. And there are some guys in high school, by the way, hawa kuwata na mamanzi, hata wakua na shuguli kama iyo. Like our CEO chairman, baka tukotu na mulizanga, msee, ukona feelings. Because... <laughs> That guy was sold out to God. Sold out. Sold out. So totally sold out. I want to explain you the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. And I said, Masi jelewa yote, lakini ile ni meelewa wacha ni kuexplain you. Wee! Mzea kuna depth, depth. Because he had made a decision. He was not going to indulge in those kind of things. And please don't get me wrong, by the way, we never did anything bad with Joyce, no. I still honor the Lord. No, no, no. I, I really honor the Lord. Even if today she came here, she will tell you, no, that, that guy honors God. Yeah. When you know what you can experience, that one is in one. One at one being in one get one getting you at two. In the middle of the There's a formation process. Some are formation. Some are formation. And I thank God for that experience today because when it broke my heart deeply, because it actually took me like almost a year before I could talk to Joyce again. It was really bad. Really, really bad. You scared me by a son. Because me, Nikwa, Nimemaliza Mamboyote. Niko, from three, I see an ID, like, Nimejua Joyce, and Yonitaoa. And I'm willing to wait. I will wait for you. If I can wait on the Lord, I can wait on you. I can wait. Wait. But it never happened. Why am I telling you this? Because there are experiences that must form you. You've got to go through it. Listen to me. Gold goes through a heating experience for it to be gold. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, Kuna vitu utapitia in this life. Can I hear you say amen? amen? Now some of you will go through some more difficult stuff. Like you could lose a dad, you could lose a mom. And I'm not prophesying. 
I'm not prophesying nothing like that. But I'm just telling you, experiences come. But you must know this, that they are forming you. They are shaping you. The reason I had to go through that heartbreak is because God knew one day I'll be coordinating youths and I'll have to tell them, listen guys, if you try to put these two things together, they can mess you up. So I am a vessel of honor because of a formation process I went through. Can I hear you say amen? When you know what fees, pengino shay fukuzwa. Amo shay chekelewa kwa class. Ama kitu flani ilifanyika. It's part of the process. And you're not alone. God is together with you. Can I hear you say amen? Lift your hand and say, God is together with me. Come on, say it with power. Say, God is together with me. What is number seven? Let's read it together. An individual's decisions unlocks the potential Somebody say individual decision. Look at me. Everybody, look at me. You have got to decide that I will love the Lord. I will serve the Lord. You have to decide at a personal level. This is a great church, by the way. Very awesome. Very near where many of you live. Awesome. Screens, music, wonderful. Awesome coolest bishop you can ever find in this country. Wonderful man. Wonderful. But you see, many of us have not made individual decisions to love the Lord. Una come church, you kit in poor. You kuna screen. You pastor Brian akianza kuimba. Hey, the man has got a voice. Nice. Nice. But you've got to make up your mind. Mimi, nitapenda yesu. Nitatumikia yesu. Nitaishia yesu. Kuna vitu watu wanafanya, maboys wanafanya, matini wanafanya, but I will not do them because I have made a decision that I'm cleansing myself from the latter that I can become a vessel of honor. It has to be a decision. Lazima wamue. You've got to make up your mind. I remember when my heart was broken by one choice. Hush. I went back to God again. I told God, God, tuele one. You, you better heal me. Heal me. I can't go through life like this. I can't begin developing stomach ulcers very early in my life because of somebody that I placed them here. Heal me. God healed me. A year later, I met with Joyce. We sat, we chatted, we talked. Wonderful. Met again, we sat, we chatted, we talked. Met again, we sat, we chatted. Because now we are all growing. She went to Uganda. I went to Nairobi, all of that. We are sitting, we are talking. And today we are great friends. But then I come to you and you and you check everything. Why? It's because God healed me and I made the decision. I will take my wounded heart, I'll bring it to God and I'll tell God, heal me! It's a decision you make. That's what makes you a vessel of honor. Tell your neighbor, there are decisions you must make. There are decisions you must make. To become a vessel of honor. Please very quickly write down these decisions and then we'll pray together and we are going to be done. Number one, decision number one that you've got to make is who is the master of my life? Who is the master of my life? Who is going to run my life? Who is going to be the boss of my life? Who is going to be the CEO of my life? Who is going to be the man that I bow to in my life? And you've got to make up your mind that that is going to be G-O-D. It's going to be God and God alone. Can you say amen? Lazima wamwe. Wamwe mimi ni meokoka. Na kuna maform tuliwa. Tuliwacha. Kuna maform tuliwacha. Tuliwacha, tuliwacha, najua Kwetu pengine, wase wanawashanga Wase wanavutabangi, lakini mimi Kwa sababu ni meokoka I have made up my mind, I have cleansed Myself from the latter, I am becoming A vessel of honor I pray that you shall be a vessel of honor I say I pray you shall be a vessel Of honor, Amen. tell your neighbor Make up your mind Amen. Who will be the master of your life You've got to make up your mind Because who knows what's coming Down the road for you You've got to make up your mind that it's God and God alone. You've got to make up that mind. Number two, you've got to decide in your life the purpose you're living for. The purpose you're living for. The purpose you're living for. You've got to rise above living for bread alone. 
Everything to you is measured in love. Love is the medium of exchange. You must come out of that. You've got to catch a purpose for your life. I am in high school. I'm not in a prison. I'm only here for four years. In the time that I'm here, I'm pursuing my vision. I'm pursuing my goal. I'm not going to join up with people who are burning the school. I'm only here for a short while. I'm not here forever. I'll not be in that box. I'm not going to enter those groups. My mind is made up. I'm here and I'm here on a purpose. Can I hear you say amen? Somebody say purpose. Say matana purpose. Give two people a high five and tell them purpose. Yes. Establish the purpose of your life. All the ladies who are here, establish the purpose of your life. You are not just a sexual object to fulfill a man. Make up your mind. Make up. Make up right now. Before many years down the road, you're working somewhere and your boss tells you if you're going to get the promotion, yes, you've qualified and everything, but you must sleep with me. You make up your mind and you say, no, I will not do that. I'm a chick of purpose. I'm a lady of purpose. And God is my master. Make up your mind. Live on a purpose. Live on a purpose. Number three. These are decisions you've got to make. You must cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself. By the blood of Jesus. Because there are many of us seated here and I know. Because I've gone through that stage and I work with young people. I know. Some of us seated here, we are having issues with pornography. Yeah. Don't look down, look straight. Nobody should suspect you. Yeah. There are people dealing with masturbation. It's an issue. Yes. There are people dealing with alcohol. It's an issue. But you've got to make up your mind to cleanse yourself. To cleanse yourself. To cleanse yourself. I've worked with a few young people who have had issues in those areas of their life. And this is what I tell people. And I'm telling you so that some people here can be helped. Because listen to me, it is possible to be free from sexual issues. Your amen is weak. Amen. You better believe. You see, this is the thing. You cannot help a person out of a cage until they are willing to step out. You must hit the chains that are holding you for you to have your freedom. You have to. You have to. The prisoners who loved their chains, they never went free. That's a good one to put on your Facebook. Hashtag Harvest Conference. Hashtag Pastor Dan. The prisoners that loved their chains, they never went free. If you cannot see how pornography is destroying your life, if you cannot begin to hate pornography, if you cannot begin to hate sexual addictions, if you're not going to hate it, you can't break free. Because you can't overcome an enemy that you love to play with. You've got to see that as an enemy. You've got to see this thing is messing up my life. This thing is tying me down and it is too early in my life to be held down. I'm hating this thing. You've got to do that. Number two, you must decide that you're breaking into freedom. And you must be willing to take the journey. It will require a concerted effort. Concerted. That means many things. Concerted. An accompaniment. It will, it, it will involve that. There is a spiritual dimension to it. We must pray for you. You must be delivered out of that. Spiritually. And that's where the blood of Jesus comes in. Number two, there is a mental. A mental process. That must be there. Because you're not tied into those things all the time. You're not watching pornography now. No, you're not. But there's a time. There's a place. And we're all alone. Then it comes. So you've got to have a mental ascent. That it is when I'm all alone that this thing kicks in. So I've got to make up my mind. When I'm all alone, I will not go this direction. I will go this way. Because there are many of you sitting here. You are deceived. You think your problem is down here. It is not down here. It is up here. That's where the problem is. Because your mind is your greatest sexual organ. Not the equipment down there. No, no, no. The equipment down there receives command from the command center. So if you don't deal with the issue from up here, the problem is not down there. Tell your neighbor, it's not down there. It's up here. Number three, there's got to be practical measures. Practical. 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 And I encourage young people, stop even using a smartphone. Because pornography is so accessible. Very, very. Even me as a preacher. I can, right? If you just type in, in Google, you'll see it. You'll come up. But you've got to put practical measures. Practical. 
If you truly want to break free, watch on a smartphone. Because when you wake up, you have to understand that too. Two hundred styles. From a dictate, uh, enter, uh, enter. Two hundred. You've got to put practical measures. You have to. You have to. Tell your neighbor you have to. Tell them again you have to. Yes. Because some of us here, we don't know we are dealing with a fire that is bigger than us. And it can take you out. It can destroy you. We have heard of cases of young people that have been addicted to these things for over 10 years. Hmm. 10 years. It will not just take a one day meeting to help you. You need to take a journey. Can I hear you say amen? Tell your neighbor, cleanse yourself. Some of you need to leave some WhatsApp groups. Need to leave. Because the things they send in there, they fire your emotions. Got to be practical. Got to be practical. Can I hear you say amen? amen? Tell your neighbor, cleanse yourself. Some of you, the best you can do, put relationships aside up until you're ready to settle down. Telling you the truth. I'm, I'm shelving this. Because every two weeks, your heart is being broken. When I get to Ibadah, the leader of prayer, uh, shall we stand up together for the call to worship? Call to worship. You're forever broken. You've got to make up your mind. You're not going to remain there. And there are people here, I declare freedom over your life. Freedom over your mind. Freedom out of addictions. Freedom out of the things holding you back. Say my amen. amen. Lift your hand and say in the name of Jesus. I choose to cleanse myself by the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Purify me. Cleanse me in Jesus' name. Can you say amen? amen? Choose to separate yourself. The guy on the screen, give me Proverbs 18 verse 1, KJV version. King James. Proverbs 18 verse number 1. Because this one will help you to walk in your victory. Let's read it together, everyone. Through desire, a man having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. So it begins with a desire. It begins with a desire. I thank God for a couple of the youth leaders in this church, and I know some of them have opened up their lives, talking about some of the things they've gone through. And one of the things that helped them to step out and to become vessels of honor is that they had a desire. Somebody say desire. Come on, say it three times. One, desire. two, desire. three. Desire. Have a desire. Decide me, I want to get deep with God. I'm coming out of that level. I want to have a desire. I want to push in God more. I want to love God more. I want to serve God more. It starts with a desire. It starts with a desire. It starts with a desire. It starts with life. Because you want to watch a soap opera. It's a desire. But today I pray, God will change the desires in your heart. That you shall desire after him. Even as you play music. Desire to know God. Because it's easy just to be playing music and you get lost in the play. But desire God. Desire God. Desire I will know my Bible. I'll know the word of God. Desire. I will know the joy in worship. How can people be on stage worshiping? They are crying. God is moving. Like in the way we may come a post your rural electrification program. Today may you be delivered in the name of Jesus. Somebody say desire. desire. Say again desire. desire. Shout desire. Yani tamani God. Tamani God. Tamani God. Tamani God. Tamani Jesamu. Desire him. Desire him. Desire that I want more of you. Natoka level. Tunaka kwa ibada. Si tunachekele tu wasa yasema vi. Cheki mse. Si utumbo ni kubo. You've got to come out of that. The, those are habits of common vessels in the house of God. But I pray you are becoming uncommon. 
I say you are becoming uncommon. I declare you are becoming uncommon by your desire. What will the desire do? The desire will separate you. It will separate you. One of my friends in high school formed a WhatsApp group of all the guys that graduated in our year. Or rather finished high school in our year. Ali form. Included all of us. But because of design and separation, I have never commented on anything. Never. Because who can leave it to an Bruce. Reunion. Johnny Walker. And I'm looking at this, I'm saying, what in the world is this? There's an option in my phone called mute. I hit it. I come to check. And the true, I see the effects of that lifestyle. So and so died. Drunk driving. Comrade to a fallen soldier. Me, I'm wondering. Oh. By now, over, you're, you're, you're over 30 years of your life, you should know alcohol can kill people. You should know there are things you don't do with yourself. But you'll only do that if there is a desire and you're separated. Separated. Totally. They organized a reunion. I refused to go. Another official called me and told me, have you seen that what's happening? I said, I've seen it. He asked me, are you going? I said, no. What am I going to do with drunkards? Drunkards. Confirmed drunkards. We preached to them in high school. They refused. Now they're drinking. They keep burying one another because of drunk driving accidents and things like that. They are still not I'm not going there. I oh, know. Because I can go there and then somebody decides, I don't know, selfie, selfie, selfie. They take a selfie with me and I hit the social media. Pick up a selfie and I'm Johnny Walker. It can kill my ministry. The devil is a liar. I will not do those things. Why? Because through desire, a man having separated. Today I pray God gives you the grace to be separated. I say may God give you the grace to be separated. Everybody in your class can sleep around but not you. Everybody can be a drunk but not you. Everybody can be confused but not you. Receive the grace to be separated. You know what you're different. What you What you But they can't even bring a suggestion. They can't. They can't. Why? Because there's a desire. Put up the scripture. There's a desire that has separated you. Separated you. Separated you. Separated you. I'm still single. I'm not married. And I'm not worried. I can assure you. So one day I went into a function and I met with another friend of mine. I met with another lady and the lady was like, wow, good to meet you. Good, good. You're serving God. You're young. Blah, 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 blah. I want to connect you with somebody. Eh? I said, all right. No problem. Connect me. I couldn't shit. That's all. Went into this date and met with this lady. So we're sitting and we're chatting. So... Yeah, mutual friend, yes, so, yeah, Yaji, boy, huh? So what do you do with yourself? I asked her, do you really want to know? She said, yeah, I want to know. I said, all right. I told her, I am a preacher. She was drinking coffee. She almost <laughs> spilled on me. She, she could not believe that I have chosen to use my life in serving God. It, it was a shock. I, I, I knew the reaction was going to come. So I told her, no, I am a preacher. I'm a pastor. What? I say, yes, I'm a preacher. The B-I-B-L-E is the book for me. That's what I do with my life. I, I, I am serving God. She said, how? I asked, what do you think I'm supposed to do? No, I, I thought like you're a banker, you know, uh, like you with insurance. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> I am a preacher. I, I love the Lord and I love serving God. I love preaching. That's what God created me for. She said, eh. Eh, okay. That's where I knew the date ended. Because there are people, they don't have a desire to serve God. Sometimes they even feel sorry for God. Really, I feel sorry for God. Because people don't love him. People don't want to serve him. And they think as we're serving him, we are crazy. They think we are mad. They think it's a waste of time. How can you be serving God? Pastor, why? 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 Because I know what her problem was. I'll go to a monarchy and make her poor. But what I'm committed my life to was the issue. Why? There is a desire that separates a man. I pray there will be a desire that will separate you. Separate you. And what happens when you're separated? You seek and you, you intermeddle with all wisdom. That's what makes you a vessel of honor. A vessel of honor. Can I hear you say amen? amen. I told you make a decision on who will be your master. What will be your purpose? Number three was what? 
You've got to class yourself. And number four, which is the last one, choose your company. Choose your company. These are choices you've got to make. Yeah. That date ended that way. Because there's no way I will date a chick who will have a problem with my life commitment. Nah. Even if she has a, <laughs> a shape like a Coca-Cola bottle, there's a desire that separated me. I want to serve the Lord with my life. With her Coca-Cola bottle figure, she can remain there. There, there are people who are not interested in God. They'll be interested in her. But as for us, age, we are separated. We want to be vessels of honor. Are there people here who want to be vessels of honor? Can I hear you say, I want to be a vessel of honor? Yeah. And it begins with a desire. It begins with a desire. I'd like the worship team on stage. Worship team on stage. And I don't know if the media team has got the song, Purify My Heart. Let me be as gold and precious silver. What us to sing that and commit our lives to God. Because that's what makes us vessels of honor. Give me 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 20, where we were. 2 Timothy 2, 20. I hope you band guys know that song. But you'll get it. You're sharp. Yes. Let's read it together, everybody. Three go. But in a great house, everyone, you're reading together on the screen. Put it up on the screen. Put it up on the screen. The, the scriptures. Put them on the screen. Good. Three go. Everyone. But in a great house, they are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Verse 21. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Listen to me. I know many of you here probably you don't have the dream or the desire to be a pastor, to be a preacher. It's okay because you can still serve God in whatever other profession. Put back the scripture again because I want to show you this. The Bible says when you have been cleansed and you have cleansed yourself, you become a vessel of honor, sanctified and ready for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. Being a doctor is good. But sanctification will make you a vessel of honor. It will make you distinct among the doctors. Distinct among the engineers. Listen to me. The roads in Kenya are horrible. All over. Because we don't have engineers that have been sanctified and prepared for every good work. But I pray you shall be an engineer that is sanctified. That when you do a road, the road lasts. Not when the rains come. The rains go with the road. No, 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 no. That's why you need to be sanctified. So that when you become a lawyer, you become a truthful person. You will help people who cannot help themselves to protect their property. You will not just be in court and decide to connive and then steal a widow's plot. Because these are the issues we have in society. Because we don't have people that are sanctified. Vessels of honor. Prepared for the master's use. And to every good work. I pray that the day you become a husband, you shall be a trusted man because you are sanctified. You are a vessel of honor. You will not be a man with mpango akando. No, no, no. You are sanctified. Prepare for every good work. That's what we mean. A vessel of honor. Yani the life you live is honorable. Honorable. God wants to make you that. Can I hear you say amen? Close your Bible and not, but please stand up on your two feet. Come in a vessel of honor. We've got to end this by praying. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is this old song. By the way, I did a research on it and I discovered the song was written in the year 1990. 1990. It's not a hit song now. It was a hit song then. But most importantly, it has never lost the anointing in it. And that's what many of you need to know, especially new Nyamatakwa Wasani and gospel artists. Listen to me. For your song to remain relevant, you need the anointing of God on that song. Others, you can do a song. It only hits for two weeks between you and the producer. Hits the producer, hits you, hits the producer. Two weeks, it's over. But there are songs that have been written, I can assure you, 300 years, but you sense the power. Can I hear you say amen? Tell your neighbor, neighbor. My mind is made up. I want to be a vessel of honor. 
Do we have the song in lyrics purify my heart? Purify my heart. Do you have that? But I'm sure you guys know it. Purify my heart. Do you have it? You have it. If it is there, give me a thumbs up if it's there. I want us to sing this song. I wish if they can get it and put up the words, it will be wonderful. And I want us to sing it. Sing it from the depth of your heart. That God, aha. Uh -huh. Clap for the people up there. Clap for them. Clap for them. Amen. Put it up on the big screen. Put it up on the big screen. Are we on the right key? Are we on the right key? Is that the right key? Good. All right. Yes. Let's have it on the screen. Wonderful. I want us to sing this song together. It's a good one even to put up as your status update. It's a good yeah. one. It's a good one, really. It's a good one. Amen. And I want you to sing it from your heart that God may cleanse you and make you a vessel of honor. Do you want to be a vessel of honor? Say intrinsic value. Say it's on the inside. Amen. Let's go. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold. And precious and Silver purify my heart. Let it be as gold. Pure gold. Pure gold. Pure gold. Refine us fire. Refine us fire. My heart's one desire. like you mean it let me ask you a question are you are you discouraged with the corruption just hold 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 everything are you discouraged with the corruption in this country yeah are you angry at that yeah that there's money that's supposed to go to medicine being stolen i'll tell you why it's because of the heart of people their hearts are not cleansed so a leader does not care that there is no medicine in hospital, doesn't care. There are no roads, there is no drainage, confusion everywhere. We, we just live like we are animals on steroids and they don't care. They really don't care. But the answer to that is in you. That when you become the leader many years from today, because of the refiner's fire, you'll be ready for the will of God. You'll be set apart for God. Can I hear you say amen? amen? Now I want you to sing it once again from the depth of it. Take, it take, take the key a little bit higher. Take the key a little bit higher. I want the beat a little bit faster so we can be able to sing. Hallelujah. Take the key a little bit higher. Hallelujah. Refine us fire. Are you ready to sing? Can we sing with our hands lifted up? Can we sing with our hands lifted up? You know, put your hands down. Put your hands down. Listen to me. There are guys here, you are, you're really acting very composed. But we know, we know, we know when France was about to win, we know how you are behaving. Can you let yourself lose in the presence of God? Can you let yourself lose in the presence of God? Hallelujah. Refine us fire. Refine us fire. My heart's one desire. Come on. My heart's one desire. Oh, is to be. to be holy. holy set apart for you my master set apart for you my master ready ready to do your will once again lift it up refine us fire everybody sing
set apart for you, my Lord. I choose to be, I choose to be holy, holy. Set apart for you, my master. Again, refine us for you. My heart's one desire. My heart's one desire is to be. Is to be. To be holy. Holy. Set apart for you, my Lord. Set apart for. I choose to be a vessel of honor today. Holy. Set apart for you, my master. Set apart for you, my master. I'm ready. Ready to do your will. Lift your two hands, everybody. The spirit of the Lord is already here. And I know there are many things we deal with as young people. Things in our bodies, things in our minds, things in our friendships. Things that tend to make us not to be cleansed. And as we lift our hands, our Father and our God, we stand in your house as young people. Surrounded by issues around us. Surrounded by problems, wrong company, wrong peer pressure. We are surrounded, oh God, even by different attacks that the enemy sends on our way. There is no generation that has come under severe attack like this generation. But Father, we lift up our hands to you. And our heart's desire is that we want to be vessels of honor. And this day, Father, we plead your blood over our lives to cleanse us. To cleanse us from all the issues. To cleanse us from all the addictions. To cleanse us from all the challenges we are facing. Oh God, I pray that once again you will do our work in every person's heart. That Lord, you'll release a desire to pursue after you. A desire to pursue after your word. A desire to pursue after worship. A desire to live for you. I pray today that the refiner's fire will burn in every heart. Burn in every heart, oh God. Remove every wickedness. Remove every addiction. Remove every issue. Remove every condition. In the name of Jesus, let us have a generation of remnants. People that will love you. People that will live for you. We pray for that refiner's fire to burn in our hearts once again. Everybody put your two hands over your chest. Say together with me in the name of Jesus. Right now, I receive the refiner's fire. In my life, I desire to be a vessel of honor. Oh God, cleanse me by your blood. Wash me by your blood. I choose, I choose to be holy, to be, holy, to be, set, apart to be set apart for you, my master. For you, my master. I, am ready I am ready to do your will. To do your will. Father, we thank you Bless you, that you have begun it in us. We glorify I pray you. that you'll con- cause it to continue. Mm. That even in the remaining sessions of this conference and also even after this conference, that there will be a remnant, young people that are separated. Separated. Father, make us to be ready to do your will. Vessels of honor, we receive it in Jesus' name. 
And everyone said amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And that is the answer. The answer is you must have a desire that is different. Different. You know, kuna, kuna, kuna my youth man. Wakuna desire ya sex. Every time, every time, they are ready for sex. Every time, nikuwaka, nikuwasha. They are forever high. But you must have a desire to serve the Lord. Yeah. Lift your hands once again and sing that song. Just the chorus alone. Three, go. Refine us fast. My heart's one desire. My heart's one desire. Is to be. Bring it up. Is to be. 